Welcome back to my single player world. The 1.19 update has just dropped and I want to have a quick look at it. I am in 1.19 pre-3. We blew through pre-1. I never even saw pre-2. So now we're in pre-3. This is very interesting because... I think that the options on hair have changed and looking at my hair, oh no, let me stand up. I have, uh, come back to F5. I don't know if you remember guys, but I have always, always had purple hair. Now if I press F4, press C, let me take my armor off. Oh no! I can only describe my beautiful purple hair as shit coloured. I'm already not liking this. Tyron! Sarity, what have you done? People have purple hair and pink hair in real life. Let's cover this absolute awful thing up. Oh my word, I am very upset about that. <laughs> but there's lots and lots of good things here. We have some new graphics and some of them are, oh my word, that's gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at the seeds. Oh yes. I've seen these and I just thought how wonderful they are. And also we have a new large trough. Look at that. Just in time for Christmas, we have a manger. I'm loving it. That's gorgeous. And I know that we've got uh, a new small trough as well. It's not so uh, dynamic as the big trough. The big trough, I think, is absolutely gorgeous. Really gorgeous. I keep seeing my hands in front of me. It's very distracting. There are some new blocks, and one I am particularly excited about is that they have added, I believe, some, I think they're called scroll holders. Scroll racks, here we go. Oh, wow, look at that. Five boards, nails and strips. Ah, I might have known they would have nails and strips in them. Do I have any nails and strips? I do, thank goodness for that. Okay, and I've got some boards in here. I don't want to use any of these. So it's a pattern of five with one of those. Let's have a look. So we've got one, two, three, four, five and one of those oh my word oh my goodness this looks fantastic by the way guys i have been actually building out the library here i have made three of the scroll racks and these are in the bald cypress i'm going to place them down against the wall i think they go there now Let's start with the tuning cylinders, of which I have a lot. Let's get them all in colour order here. And I think each rack, if I'm not mistaken, takes six. Let's have a quick look at this. So... It's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. But if I put another one down next to it, and I, again, I'm hanging them on the wall, I think that the number of cylinders it will hold will increase so if we have a look at this we get one two three and this one in the middle forms one so you've got the four 
five, six. But this is clever because this forms another rack. So you can put that one there and then the one above it will fit over the top. That's excellent, isn't it? Because that means that when you have a whole wall of them, for a start, you increase your storage by two if you put two racks together. Um, but al also, it looks good like that. It looks as if it's meant to be a whole wall of these things. Let me just check I've got all the cylinders in. I have. And let's just move my scrolls down. Now, let's have a look at what scrolls look like. Oh, wow. That looks terrific, doesn't it? This is going to be in my library. Wow, that does look good. What a difference from trying to store them in the bookcases as we had them upstairs. That looks terrific. I am really pleased with that. Loving it. Very, very clever design. Very beautiful. I think the scrolls are particularly fine, actually. They do look lovely. The cylinders are good, but the scrolls are particularly fine. Okay. That's a big like from me. One thing it does say is that these things store papers. Now, I actually have a paper and it doesn't look as if it would store on a rack. But let's go up and have a look at it. Yeah, see, I've got a paper here. The law about Tobias. I don't see how this can store on a rack, but it does say it stores papers. Maybe this isn't the right format for papers, but let's have a look. Oh! Oh, it does. Look at that. I can't get any um, closer to it, but it will store the papers. They look odd, but how interesting. Let's take that one out. Let's put the scroll in there. What does it look like up there? Oh my word, look at that. Goodness me, so if I didn't have a scroll here, you would have leaves of paper. It looks rather odd, but it's better than storing it in a chest. There you go. One thing I haven't yet looked at is the bucket. Apparently we have a new bucket. Oh, it is indeed, isn't it? How do I get my hands off here? I really don't want these hands in front of me all the time. Right, wooden bucket, 10 litres of water. That is much nicer, isn't it? I am liking that a lot. From the old square buckets, that's a considerable improvement. Look at the difference in the grain. It's beautiful, all this 3D effect. I'm loving that. I'm gonna take some extra food because I have been saving some translocators so that when I go through them, they will generate what I believe are new ruins. So we have a translocator through here. Here we go. Now this has not been mended. These arms are annoying me and I don't know how to get out of them. One, two, three. And it's dripping. We can go through. Let's get our have I got any blocks with me? I have. Let's get those on here in case we need to block an entrance. And let's go through. Where are we going to end up? Wow. Mm, nice. This looks awfully familiar. I have a feeling I've been here before. I'm sure I haven't. Uh, to start off with, let's just block the entrance. Then we know what we're doing. I've got torches with me. So let's put a torch down. Let's look 
on the map. Wow, that's different. Am I linking to anywhere I know? I am not. Oh my goodness me, look at this. It's, it's rendering in as we speak. That is such a muted look. I can't tell what type of stone or anything it is. This is for prospectors. And is it my imagination or is this bigger? It must be my imagination. Right, it's all rendering in. Now, let's first of all see what we've got here. Oh my word. Hides, more tuning cylinders, some ore. I love it. Right, okay. And that looks like metal scraps. Yep, we don't want to go back yet. There's another... We've got lime, flax, another rusty gear. That's five. And those are raw hides. I thought for a minute they were pelts, but they're not. Let's do this. Oh, gosh, I've cracked a, crashed again. I should explain that I am very used to crashing when I look at these early pre-releases. I like looking at the pre-releases. I like exploring the new features. I like picking up on what's new. And part of that is if you do try out pre-releases, you will crash. I always take a game save. And so it's very safe. I can always go back to where I left 1.18. But just because I crash, don't worry about it. We always come back. Well, I'm back. And in between the game crash and now, I've actually move to 1.19.0 pre-4 which apparently has oops uh, sorted out a lot oh no 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 I don't want to go there of the game crashes so let's just see whether we can pick up some of these good blocks and there's also some of the rubbish here which is fine we'll just clear this out then we've got a better place now on the map I have no idea what sort of terrain I'm on. Wow, these look like meteors. Um, and I'm using... Oh, what's that? Oh, nice. Let's see if that would... Meteor. Right, let's try that one. They're much easier to see, aren't they? We might as well do this. Why not? Save. I mean, that's three meters to look at immediately. Can I see ruins on this map? I've got this odd sign here. Can I see ruins? I'm not sure I can. That could be water. Oh, that looks like a ruin, doesn't it? Oh, I see. Wow. And the other thing we always look for when we've just spawned somewhere is whether there's a trader. Does that show up on this? This is a map that is mostly built, I believe, um, to show where you've been prospecting and ores. And we can get back to the original map. Let's just stick with this one for the time being. See what we can see and what we can't. Let's just sort that out. We've got more junk there. Right, this is now clear. We've got a torch there. And I am at 35, so I'm low. I have a lot of uh, wooden ladders now. Ruined chambers, ruined chandeliers, this can all be chucked away. But look, tuning cylinders and things like that. Excellent. Let's see if we can dig up. We know we're on andesite. And I have to say that this is going to be a long haul. Oh my. Oh wow. Oh look at this. 
There's grass growing in the desert. I haven't seen this before. How interesting. I didn't think we got grass in deserts. So we've got andesite, bauxite, a lot of very interesting trees over there. Oh, we've got a trader. Now, does that show up on the map? It does not. That, that is the trader. That does not show up on the map. Ah. So what sort of trade... Oops. What sort of trader have we got? Let's go and have a look. Let me just eat something after all the exertion there. And I want to get rid of some of the blocks. Then I can talk to the trader with an empty hand. Let's get rid of that and that. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's pretty, isn't it? Ah, I've got rid of my arms. Excellent. Let's get that out of my bar and that off my bar. So, who are you? A commodities trader. Hello, got anything to trade, Somerset? <gasps> Silver, resin, beautiful. Lovely. Okay, let's put him down as a commodities trader. Wow, this looks pink. This bauxite sand looks very, very pink. Right, now if we look on this map, if I go west, yes, I think I've spotted some, oh, look up there. We've got gazelles. I know there are different types of deer. Yeah, that looks like a, that looks like a meteor to me. Let's go and have a look. Have I got any empty slots? Mm. We've got granite stone that we don't need. Let's back away from that. There we go. Yeah, these look like meteors, don't they? What's this? Oh my gosh! What? What? No! No! I didn't get a warning! What's happening? Whoa, look at that! Yeah, I'm gonna die here. Well, I'll just... And where are we going to respawn? I'm still. Oh no, I'm in the Resonance Archives. Oh my word. Ah! What was that? I've got food on me. Oh my goodness. It says the heaviest temple storm. I didn't see that. Got killed by a nightmare drifter and now it's wa waning. Right. Oh. Right, let's go. Let's go back home. Oh my goodness. It's daylight, so I'm going to go back th through the translocator. And I have marked it. Andesite and bauxite desert. Right, so this is the translocator that we mended. And here we are still in known territory. Just making sure this is okay. All right. Um, yep, we've got the trader marked. This is where I died in a temporal storm. Let's uh, work our way, whoops, up. Ooh. There we go. Oh, the one thing I have brought with me is of course a lantern. 
and let's see whether I mean I should be able to find a meteorite up here in this desert yeah this is a dangerous entrance I need to bring some more ladders and straighten out this exit but this will do for the time being we pick up all sorts of stuff up here Oh, aha, uh -huh. okay, this must have fallen down, there we go, steps needed here, and I've taken out the step up mod too, now we were, or I am, heading in totally the wrong direction. Yeah, we want to head that way. It's past the trader. I must say, I would like to get rid of these arms. But these deserts are no longer quite so bereft. And there are, I think up on the hill, we can see the lovely, very pink cacti. But I want to go and see whether we can still get the meteorites up. I'm sure we can. Yeah, there's there's those white and pink cacti up there. A beautiful waterfall. What a lovely area. How nice to see all this. It all seems to be generating all right. Swavite, yay. And there's the meteorite. Nice. Gosh, this arm movement is horrific. I really want to get rid of this. Now, I wonder whether there is any more of this meteorite. It's always worth a little check. And there we have it. Is there any underneath? Right, I think that's it. I do like this sparse look. Oh, we have a ruin here. Now, this is what I'm looking for. Wow, this bauxite cobblestone is... Oh, look at this. Yeah, look, this is new. It's come in... Look at that block. Granite cobblestone with bits in. That's totally new. All right. Uh, have we got anything else new here? These ruins, I think, have been changed, some of them, but they're also in the process of being changed. Am I picking that up? I am. Wow. And what is this? Aged granite bricks. Aged granite bricks and aged bauxite Bauxite ashlar bricks. These are nice. What nice bricks. So we're getting all these different bricks. It's going to play hell with our inventory. But I love it. I, do I take the swavite stone? Possibly. What we don't need is that one. In fact, Let's just get rid of that whole lot. This is very interesting to me that we've got these aged bricks already and these sort of partial bricks. Fascinating. All right. 
yeah I'm pretty sure that's it yeah it is you can already see it wow they've suffered here nice which way is it going wow this looks very good Right, how much more of this meteorite is there? A lot, very nice. That's it. I can actually see them. And this sort of sparse vegetation is very nice. I don't think there's any new. Yeah, there's another meteorite. Wow, this is going to make meteorite spotting dead easy, isn't it? If we have maps like this. Really good. Very good. And of course, I love picking up meteoric iron. Wow, this is just what I needed. Well, as far as I can see, all the chunks have loaded well. You know, there's nothing here that looks odd. It's it's all loading beautifully. Ooh, and a nice cave. Let's have another look at these ruins and see what these are like. Ah, um, before I do anything, I'm going to get rid of some of this sand. And although these blocks are interesting, I don't really want them. That's granite cobblestone, but it is bauxite, isn't it? Okay, let's see if there's any, what have we got loot-wise? Is that any different? No, axes. These aged granite bricks are nice. Okay, so we've got axes. got all the normal stuff let's let's just have a look fascinating oh of course we've got these well we do want the bony soil are we finding anything underneath let's have a quick look I doubt it no. Wend my way up a bit. There's more to the ruin. Yeah, I mean, these are a bit bright, these blocks, but I can imagine that if you're building from other blocks, this might be a, a very fascinating addition. And I'm particularly keen on this aged bauxite ashlar. I think that's, and that's aged granite, so the, the labels aren't matching. And the bauxite cobblestone, it just looks, it looks a little less vibrant than it used to. The, the colour, oops, looks better somehow. I tell you what, we're used to going through shovels on ruins, but I think we're going to go through our picks just as much with these new blocks. Yeah, we've got some... Whoa! Did I pick those up? I did. So, Oh my goodness, look at that. 
I love the way that the cobblestone now matches Ooh. the desert around it. And I think the bauxite, is it just me or does this look gentler, this bauxite? Does it look more of a salmon pink and less of a very vibrant pink? Or is it my imagination? Let me know what you think, guys. Oh, look, we've got some of these really nice aged bricks here. Oh, yes. Oh, this looks very promising. This looks very promising. Oh! But we've got some... What have we got down here? Uh, oh, nice. Uh, let's get rid of stuff we don't want to pick up things that we do want. I want... Wonderful. Look at this. I'm very keen on that. Um, good. We've got the holder there. That's great. So we've got a metal barrel, but that's not a good one. What's in here? Oh, good. Old village. Lovely. Lovely. I don't want bauxite gravel. Lime I want. So that can go. Um, what can go? Swavite stone I don't need. Okay. And this is under here. What is this? Wet, dirty gravel. That's fantastic. Oh my gosh. Let's just get rid of some of these blocks. And those are all aged. That's really nice. And this, this, um, wet, muddy gravel. What can I get rid of to get that? Oh my gosh. We're going to have a plethora of blocks over here. Bauxite gravel again. Yeah, it's because these are all different shapes. And I ca I've can't bring a basket with me because I've take I'd had to take carry capacity out, which is not ideal. Can I jump over there? I want that block. I've got it, good. Okay, so down here, I don't want that, I don't want that. Ah, wet, dirty gravel. That looks a really good block. It's that. Ruined bed we don't want. But the wet, dirty gravel, I think that's a beautiful block. Can I pick up any more of it? Is it not the same? Um, why is it not picking it up? It's not picking up all of them. I wonder why. Right. We need to explore and find out. Let's dig a way out here. Right. What do we want to get rid of? The bauxite cobblestone. I hope they get carry capacity working with this because it's going to be impossible to pick a lot of this up without. And what is that? Granite dry stone. I don't think that's the same as granite cobble. I think this must be the new textured dry stone walling. Wow. Um, can do without the clear quartz. Keep 
picking up stuff I don't want. Ah. Ah, wet dirty gravel, wet dirty gravel stony and wet dirty gravel cracked. It is a different block. So that must be something else. Oh my word. Um, do I really want these? I probably don't. Wet dirty gravel plain. Wow. Wow. So there's three different blocks here. Oh my God goodness me and this granite dry stone is a really I'm going to take some of that back because that's a pretty complex block if you ask me spotty moss layer ah uh, it doesn't come out as spotty moss wow that was a learning curve and a half Oh my goodness, what have we got from that? A beautiful painting of the old village, which I don't think I've got. And this amazing aged bauxite rock. Oh my goodness. That's fantastic. Well, I reckon that's a pretty good look at some of the new textures, some of the new things we can make, like the scroll racks. And also, I was very, very pleased that going through a new translocator that I'd only just mended is the world seems to generate fine. Nothing seems to be a problem in going through there. And our first look at the new ruins, I thought was pretty impressive. These ruins are still work in progress. But to me, they are already giving me beautiful blocks, a little bit better loot. I'm very, very enthusiastic about this. So, with the exception of my hair, I am very happy about all that. Bye-bye, guys. Wait for the next one.